Hey, welcome back. Let's build something. Today we are building, this is the Lego Friends Sea Rescue Boat. It's like, it's just fantastic for like environmental awareness and the friends are out doing all sorts of interesting contributions to the community. It's so nice. So this is our, yeah, hold on, I already said what it was. Oh, by the way, I do have to remember to thank the Lego Friends team for sending this over. There's so much going on in this. I'm so excited to build it because if you just look at them from the outside, it doesn't, you're like, you don't know what's really going on in a set. So this is why I get so excited about just building and seeing all of the little details that go in here. Cannot get into this set. There we go. I've got it open. I still don't love push tabs. They are not my friends. All right. Logistics of the set. There are 717 pieces. This is $140 in Australia, $80 in the US. Oh, look how bright that is. Oh, we got some. You're going to be able to see this out on the water from miles away. That bag, bag one's full of Technic pieces. So there's going to be a whole heap of structural stuff. Let's have a look in our little cardboard mailer, which is really really great i'm so glad that that our instruction books and stickers are starting to come in these more commonly they're so pretty the origami style pictures like they'll make great like big wall posters for a custom build oh my gosh i have so many plans let's just start building it first though before i start redesigning <laughs> Stop, I forgot what I was saying. I got excited by the stickers. All right. Oh, that's where. Okay. <laughs> okay. Must focus. Okay. So four characters. First of whom we're going to meet is Nova. She comes in the first bag. The others are in the other bags, but we'll have a look at them at the beginning. She's got pants we've seen before, but she's wearing a wetsuit. So we just see the wetsuit top, which is really cute. I am having a go at... I'm gonna have a go at making swimsuit bottoms for the mini dolls just so you guys can see how cursed it actually looks so that we can see, we can see why Lego hasn't released swimsuit bottoms for the uh, mini dolls. <laughs> you wait, it's gonna be awesome. Anyway, so she's got a brand new top. Uh, she has got a life vest. I think we'll end up with life vests for all of the characters as we go through the bags, but there are two included in this bag. So what else we got? Who else have we got? We've got Aaliyah. She has got, I think, yeah, I don't think we've seen this bottom before for her. So she's got a full, full wetsuit. I love the color schemes for these wetsuits for this particular theme. It's got the little whale or the dolphin tail on the back and the color scheme is turquoise yellow and coral and they just look so pretty together. So new top, new bottom, full wetsuit for Aaliyah. Thirdly is a brand new secondary character. His name is Marco and uh, wetsuit, yeah, his wetsuit's fine. It's very cute. I love it. Nice. But wait till you see his headpiece. He's coming in for us. Look at all those freckles and a little smile and I love him. <laughs> so I love Marco. Fantastic mini doll face. Look at you mini little freckles. He's little chin. Okay, so yeah, so I like Marco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we've also got a second brand new character, Gunner. I actually looked up Gunner's name. It's actually an old Norse name. And he has got, we've seen his legs before on Autumn. Also, by the way, why do these wetsuits have pockets on the back? I mean, pockets are great, but like pockets on the bum of your swimsuit, wetsuit are weird. Anyway, he's got a full wetsuit, brand new face print with glasses, and he has got a beanie on to keep his head warm because he's got no hair. So that's gonna, gonna. I love it. I just love that we've got so many different ethnicities of names happening in the Lego Friends line at the moment too. I'm having to look them up because they're names I'm not familiar with. Love it so much. All right, so four characters. Gunner obviously has a male torso, so I reckon he's in charge. We have got two brand new coloured dolphins. Got all of these. They've got little freckles, but the middle freckle has got a love heart on it. So just a little tiny, tiny nod to Heart Lake line, you know, Heart Lake theme. And a, and a baby, which is the same colour as their little dots on their forehead. So maybe the babies come out this light mint colour and then they end up going darker as they get older with little freckles on their foreheads. <laughs> I'm obsessed with freckles. I just love them. Okay. All right. So we should actually build something rather than me getting all excited about. No, I get excited about everything. So no, I will not stop getting excited. Won't stop. Can't stop. Won't, won't, won't do any of the stopping, but we'll build. 
we'll, we'll, we'll stop getting too noisy so that I can concentrate on building. This thing has like robot claw arms. But this is not the actual boat, obviously. Otherwise, it's the smallest sea rescue boat known to mankind. It's got like little jiggery things out the front. So if this was a, if this was a Star Wars set, you would think there'd be like little front guns and little robot arms. So, but it's not. And we got a spinner on the back, a little propeller. These look like they could be eyeballs. But now we've uh, changed the little front front doovy things into eyeballs, which is cool. So we got eyeballs on the front, arms on the side. So we're building a sea robot. We're not. It's <laughs> it's a little submarine. Or I thought in my head, is it a submersible? And then I looked up what a submersible is. Apparently submersibles have to be attached to the ship above to actually go under the water. But submarines can be independent. So this is a little tiny submarine. It's got the little claw arms to pick up all the rubbish from the ocean and Nova fits in there so perfectly. I love the little dome top. It makes this really satisfying click as it goes into place. She just fits in there. All right, so we've got the, that's such a cute subsidiary build. Okay, I'm really glad we started with that because we are about to do a whole heap of foundational building for what is about to be quite a substantially I mean, substantial means big, right? Well, it doesn't, I don't know. Substantial means a lot going on. I don't know. We've got, we've got some substantial structural building to go on for the actual boat before it starts to look like a boat. And we got all this technique stuff happening to build its base. And it can be reasonably boring to watch this, which is why I zoot through it as fast as I can for, uh, for video purposes. But I really actually enjoy building it when I'm building it at my own speed. And I sometimes wonder whether you guys would enjoy me just doing this at pace and like you to hear the click, click and the ASMR and then you'd fall asleep and you wouldn't watch the whole thing so maybe not maybe that's just not my style <laughs> but I do zoom through this because it's not so interesting to watch and there are lots of details in here okay the end of this bag we've got a whole heap of little pieces that seem fine to be left over bag number two we've still got a lot of structural work to go on in here but we do start getting some detailing going in but all of these pieces here they're so important for future for the foundation for what we're going to be putting on there's these black rounded headlight bricks which I didn't show off enough. Uh, they're really interesting and they're new this season. Really cool. I mean, they're going to be turning up a lot, I think. They're going to have lots of interesting functions. So much bright orange in this. I'm loving it. It's really bold. And all those little bright orange grill pieces too. They just make a really nice texture as well. And obviously they're good for grip, long walking along the side of the ship. Not along the side, along the top of the side. You can't walk along the side. Okay, I'm confusing myself. Okay, we're building an actual piece of furniture now. So we've got a toilet in here. So this is going to be the bathroom. Oh, I should have looked at, like, I should have built this before I did my tiny house for the eight Lego Friends characters. Because it looks like we are building a tiny bathroom here to fit into the smallest possible space. And this would have been handy for me to actually just kind of duplicate and put into the house. This is nice. I love this sticker. So we've got a shower and oh, it's facing opposite to what I thought it was. So this is actually, so it's an outside shower for rinsing off your shower, wooden slats, whole heap of bathroom stuff. But in the bathroom is just enough room for the toilet and the sink. And it is going to be beautifully contained up with a door. So everything that's going in here, like this really cute sticker with toothbrushes, hairbrushes, all the important stuff, just knickknacks. Now we can't see it because it's hidden in here, but because we built it, we know it's in there. Love the door with the space underneath, just add some extra airiness to what's now a very closed and closed bathroom. I mean, you can really only access it from the top, really. You, you got the idea of the door, but getting <laughs> getting your mini dolls in through that door, nah, you're just gonna drop them in through the top. Speaking of draw, door, no, we weren't. We're speaking of doors. Got an external door here. Love these rounded doors. I mean, obviously they work really nicely for ships, but they look really, yeah, rounded and ergonomic and just, yeah, just nice. All right, bag number three. We've got, so we've got the back area off the boat at the moment. We've got a shower there. There are some hooks. Got enough room here. Got gunner in here just showing the hallway walking area in through that door. And yeah, you'd be able to access the bathroom. <laughs> you got a teeny tiny hand. Speaking of living quarters, which we weren't, but now we are, we get some beds. So I oh, just love these bedspreads more little nautical themed bedspreads. This one's got some seashells on it and we're gonna have another one because I reckon Gunner and Marco might, this might be their living, this might be their vessel and Nova and Aaliyah are here helping out. This is gorgeous. Always love me some yellow stripes. They're so cheerful. So I've got a sofa here, might be on the front of the ship to sit out and enjoy the breeze. <laughs> gently ruffling your hair. <laughs> if you've ever sat at the front of a ship, you know that the breeze does not ruffle your hair gently when 
<laughs> going forward. It, uh, yeah, it, it, it does more than gently ruffle. We've got a sink in here. So we've got a tiny kitchenette section. So this is going to be our oven. Got the same little kind of oven Oh, a sticker on except it's got 180 degrees on it which is obviously Celsius because that is the medium oven temperature here in the Celsius world where we speak Celsius for our temperatures so all of you Fahrenheit people you're going to just have to translate that like us Celsius people have to translate your Fahrenheit all the time okay I'm moving on we've got a copy machine next to it that's so cute I just love it it's also compact it's really nice and compact once again should have built this before I did the tiny home I would have stolen half of this stuff for it. it fits in really nicely okay this is obviously some sort of workstation we got some red no well orange and blue light got on the screen is we measuring water quality I'm not sure what we're measuring, but it looks very, very scientific. And we've got a little microbe there on uh, being examined and yet another way to build a microscope. How nifty is this? And also I just used the word nifty. How nifty is that, that I just used the word nifty? I don't think I've ever used that word in my life. It's really cute <laughs> and nifty. Got a yellow squeezy pokey ouchy thing. Perfect, a syringe. And then this is another bed. So this bedspread is my favorite out of the two. Not that I play favorites, but I totally do. So this is predominantly orange but it's got the nice little seashell outlines on it so cute and it bunks on the top of the other one look how tidy that is this is a tiny home all of its own oh my gosh but and yet you can fit everybody in at the moment we're adding we're still adding more stuff to this I'm so proud so proud of the Lego friends designers for the cluttered well then it's not cluttered we're just fitting as much as you can into the available space as you do on a ship so we've got our so this is a table this is not the front of the ship anymore this is inside I mean it never was the front of the ship it just was in my head got some sunscreen on the table and the table itself has got a little plate on it with a very delicious looking sandwich ready to go there's a chair there which can double as a chair for the computer table and there's a sofa wow that is an epic amount of fantastic space utilization all right so I don't, I'm almost positive we can't fit anything else in there so then we're going back to some structural build for now to turn this ship into a ship looking ship whoa so the uh the front windscreeny kind of things actually they notch onto the table which is very cool so that's all integrated all of that into each other got some beautiful bright yellow stripes along the top covering those well just not covering them because you can see them from the side but then lining over them with a turquoise nice smooth layer with some jumper studs so that we can remove the next level but look at that we've got an entire gorgeous looking level down there ready to go and nothing there that I don't think I should have Think that was a sentence and we're up to bag number four all right so we've got, we've done some really yummy details let's find out uh, i mean the, and the, um, the next level of yummy details is actually making making the structure of the ship because it has to be really rounded and yeah let's find out these go on the side panels of the boat and they are just the most gorgeous graphics these orange origami sea creatures so they are, I mean, they're currently upside down, but we're working on this boat upside down at the moment. Got the catamaran. Is it, is it a catamaran? The floaty bit extending out the front to give it, I, I do, I keep thinking it's a catamaran. Please correct me in the comments. Feel free, nicely, uh, if I'm wrong, because I don't know much about boats. I just kind of spout what comes to my head as I'm busy building. You don't need to know about boats to enjoy this, but I'm sure people who do know boats enjoy it even more because they know about what they're building. Okay, so we've got more smoothie bits going here. The other side is obviously a nice mirror image of this. Now this side is a mirror image of the other side. This is smoothing the, I've done something wrong there. Uh, okay, they all need to oh, look how nice that is. They come to this big wedgy smooth roundedy bit with orange and white. How nice is that? It must be a catamaran. I'm sure it is. All right. So next bag, this is the bag that Marco came in and he gets a net as well as a life vest because he's busy fishing junk rubbish out of the water. So let's find out what else comes in this bag with Marco lots of Lego bricks to put where does this this oh, this actually clips in here 
Oh, so many interesting building techniques for this. I mean, I'm gonna remember exactly half of one in to use for my own builds later on, but each time you build something new in a different way, it starts to gel and you start to think in different ways for your own builds. It's really exciting. Okay, yellow, bright neon yellow slide, brand new in this color coming off the side of the boat. And I've never seen these black pot things. I reckon they'd make really nice flower pots. In fact, I fully intend to use them as flower pots in the future. They go on the bottom and they are like nice big, I mean, not like, they are, big soft wheels so that you can actually push this forward over your surface without scratching the surface rolls really nicely these need to be pushed in a little bit more these these side pieces and i'm still excited about the bottom though according to the description you can actually roll the ship over the rubbish in the ocean and capture it up like that got recycling sign so it's a recycling boat or, yeah, nice. <laughs> Another little piece of bright neon yellow slide at the top. Once again, new in this color too. It is so vibrant. Works really perfectly for this kind of vehicle. And these notches outside out the back are for holding some life vests. And when we find some more, I'll put them, I'll put them on there. Just love how there's storage for everything. Now, this is a little, feels like that should be. So that's a little top bit, like roof for the, oh, it does. It clips down into that. If I had the sound on, you could hear the very satisfying sound that <laughs> makes as you clip that in. And the ladder goes direct. Look, I'll get Aaliyah to do it. So you go in the water, climb up the ladder, open the hatch, drop straight in the bathroom. No wet feet anywhere. As a parent, I would really like to incorporate that into my house. Thank you. Bye. Okay. This is a really pretty light powder blue powder blue crate and this is for recycling so we've got bottles glass bottles in this one and this dark blue new in this color is for cans and they are on the side of the ship for sorting the rubbish as it comes out this is a rubbish poker stick which goes on the well poker <laughs> you don't want to just poke the rubbish you want to pick it up rubbish pickery uppery stick so, and this actually clip to store that on the back of the boat and then on the top solar panels because you want to keep everything as environmentally conscious as possible and then these orange tubey things which are such an unusual thing to get in a set they go they hop in this ball joint here and there's one on the other side and then they clip into each other and they are the little like capturing net for the rubbish Ooh, that is really cool. Okay, bag number six. Enjoying this a lot. We're up to <laughs> we're up to Aaliyah. Let's give her a life vest because her oh, head rolled away. Let's <laughs> Don't lose your head. Okay, got her back. She's good. Let's move her out of the way and we're going to put a spare, a couple of spare life vests up here on the hooks because that's what I reckon they're for. Okay, all right. Now, we've already done, I think, all of the lower level of the boat. So we're working on the second level now. Obviously, we need controls and whatever else you put on the second level of a boat. What goes up on the second level of a boat? <laughs> the the tanning deck. I'm thinking of luxury vessels, obviously. Also, you don't want a tanning deck these days. You do. You, you want to be sun smart. We've seen the sunscreen. Cover up, slip, slip, slap. Really important you protect your skin from the sun. Okay, so we have got, after my little rant, uh, we've got a nice control area here with a walkie talkie and I can't figure out I suppose it'll connect to the rest of the boat because there's no standing space at the moment so poor old gunner is just having a hangout at the front got a satellite dish on the side and this looks like something does it go on the very top oh these are cool so these little angled orange pieces they just fit so nicely there as lights on the very top and these are the the other lights, the boaty lights, the red and the green things that mean important stuff to other boat people on the boaty water places. Okay, but we're not done with the important stuff on this boat. There's actually a big winch lever army kind of thing that goes on here. And this is so that you can actually pull the submarine, the little tiny submarine out of the water. So cute. And these are like big aerial -y things. This is cool. It's like a fishing boat, but fancy. It's like a fancy fishing boat. Okay, we have got everything done, I think. It looks pretty awesome. Let's have a go. Oh, oh, I called it breaking parts of this before. We've just finished, I'm already breaking it. We've forgotten to, we have to bring in the litter, bring in the rubbish. So we've got spot over here for storing the tires. It's so neat. <laughs> so tires that they've taken out of the water. Ki yeah, cans in the little trash for the side and a couple of glass bottles as well. And when they're not stored, you can just sit them in that little area 
down here and they can catch them and pick them up and you can also catch them in the claws so you can get the glass bottles in the claws of the submarine so many options and play versatility in this and i forgot to mention the fact that let's just move alia over actually i might need to move her out of the way but when we put this when we get the submarine up out of the water so let's just get that i feel as it should be going beep 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 or is that only the sound the trucks make when they're reversing what sound do submarines make when they are being lifted out of the water i do not know so we will definitely get alia out of the way because she's totally just cluttering up this space and then you can turn this around and there's actually you see the little purple the lavender jumper studs you can attach the submarine up here on the top so that everything is part of the ship how good is that we're ready to go and just to have a look at what it all looks like in the end look at that teeny tiny living space it brings me so much joy teeny tiny bathroom <laughs> and yeah of course we've got the whole secondary aspect no the primary aspect of this <laughs> for me the primary is the living area this the primary primary aspect is keeping the waterways safe for the wildlife keeping it clean love it so much the colors the interesting things that are going on absolutely everywhere in this set let me know your thoughts in the comments i don't know that this is a set most people will pick up just off the shelves but once you have seen what is inside it it is really an epic build really fun it's going to be great fun to role play with later too all right let me know your thoughts and subscribe do all the things check back in later because there are more videos coming up you know that all right i'll see you soon bye